This is called the Flinderation Tunnel, also known, I believe, as Brandy Gap Tunnel, on the North Bend Rails the Trail. It's known as Tunnel Number Two, built in 1868. Don't really need a light to walk through this. Brick and stone. In case you need to get out of the way of the train, you duck into that little alcove. So there's water flowing through this. Coming up on the end of the tunnel here. It's right along Route 50, about 10 miles west of Clarksburg. And the same things on this side. Tunnel number two. 1868. I don't know what the JWE is. Okay, this is tunnel number four. Numbers one and three apparently don't exist, that I can tell. This is only the second one on the map of the North Bend Rail Trail, as you're starting from, let's say, the Clarksburg end. It says this one's 846 feet. Same brick and stone. Same alcoves to get out of the way in case the train's coming through. Coming up on the end of the long run, Shortwood Tunnel, number four. This is the east end. Okay, on the east end I could read the date. 1868, just like the Flinderation Tunnel. As you see, this one has a slight curve in it. Central Station, length 2,297 feet.
Well, that's almost half a mile. Sixty-eight, eighteen seventy. A lot of sand in here. The size of these stones. And then the ceiling is brick. That's where I started. So it looks like about halfway, so I've done a quarter mile. going towards the west end of the Central Station Tunnel. Stone all the way up on top here. Okay, we made it to the west end of the Central Station Tunnel. Tunnel number six, Central Station Line 2297. That is a straight shot, not a bend in that one. This is parked on the side of the road right there. This tunnel is on the east side of Pennsboro in Ritchie County. There's two tunnels. Another tunnel on the other side, on the west side of Pennsboro. I'll try to see if I can get to that as well. No date or anything on that. Looks like a lot of vehicle traffic going through this one. And it's wet. <laughs> and in each of the tunnels I've been in, notice the echo here, in each of the tunnels I've been in, there's been a uh, wind blowing through. This one's kind of muddy. Very muddy, actually. Coming up on the end of the tunnel. See if this makes sense. This is the west side of the east tunnel at Pennsboro. Okay, here's the west side of that east tunnel at Pennsboro. It's called tunnel number seven, 779 feet. This one's down like in a little valley. The road I traveled on was right up there. There's also a road on this side, but it was all fenced off, and as you can see, it'd be too steep to come down. North Bend Rail Trail, tunnel number seven, Pennsboro. Okay, this is tunnel number eight. 
This is on the west side of Pennsboro in Ritchie County. Almost every one of these tunnels is identical. This one says 558 feet. Can't see any date. And this is a curved tunnel as well. A little bit of standing water. Has the emblem at the top, but no date. This is the east side of the west tunnel. And there again, it's just carved right into the rock. You can see the drill marks there going down vertically. They bricked right up to it. Bonds Creek, a whopping 353 feet. So this is the shortest one so far. Looks to be all brick too. Bonds Creek. This is the uh, west end. It's Bonds Creek. Tunnel number 19, which is the Silver Run Tunnel. Here's the number 19. Again, it's brick on the outside. I don't know if the camera's picking up this breeze. That's where I started back there. It's all brick again. Coming up to the end here, this would be the west end of the Silver Run Tunnel. Now this is what the North Bend Rail Trail looks like on the west end of the Silver Run Tunnel. Which is known by the number 19. Thank you.
it says tunnel number 21, which is at Eaton, E-A-T-O-N, West Virginia, of course, on the North Bend Rail Trail. And you see, this is a concrete tunnel because it's a newer tunnel. You see the date there, 1963. The old tunnel is around here somewhere, but it's closed off. I think parts of it had collapsed, so they sealed the uh, entrance to it. Just a bit of graffiti on this one. Hmm. Nice, colorful. <laughs> See, it's concreted all the way, like a modern tunnel. It still has the alcoves. noticed on this wall there's uh, brackets for wires that went through here electrical wires yeah, about 60 70 yards left it's so the same thing on this side 1963 tunnel 21 Eaton, which is uh, right on the border of Ritchie, Wood, and Tyler counties. It's the newer tunnel. Could be wrong, but this may be the uh, original entrance right here that they've stoned off. I'm not sure if that's just where they put these blocks here for the creek or Looking at that iron there, and these type of rocks, that would have been the original tunnel rock. So I believe this probably was it. You can see the original grade over there, right past that hump, right here. They did go into that rocked area. And then here's where they built the new one, off to the side of it. <laughs> 